Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful day or a night wherever you are in the world. God, I really have to sneeze. I need my coffee. Alright, so today's video is about how to save money at Bath & Body Works. I make a lot of videos about Bath & Body Works products and so I thought it was only fair if I gave you guys some tips on how to not break the bank there. So I have a list of some ideas to give you guys on how to save money and be a little bit smarter with your money there. So let's do this thing. So if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I'm looking at my list here, so don't mind me, girl. The first thing is to sign up for emails. This may be self-explanatory to some people. Along with any other websites that you shop at or stores that you shop at, it can be beneficial to sign up for emails because they will send you emails with coupons or telling you about sales or deals going on. So I highly suggest that you sign up for the emails from Bath & Body Works. And not only that, but you may also want to like create your own account and put in your mailing address because that's how they're probably going to send you coupons in the mail. And that's when you get physical coupons that you can take to the store instead of like having them on your phone or having to print them out, they'll just send them to you. This next thing is something that I actually did not know until recently. So when you go to the store and you're at the checkout, they typically will ask you for your email address. When I would go to the checkout, I would always say, oh, you already have it. I don't need to give it to you. You already have it. Well, little did I know, the one time I went to the register recently, the manager was checking me out and the manager told me actually every single time you give them your email it's part of like their rewards loyalty program so basically the more times that you give them your email address the better the coupons they send you because they see that as well if you keep entering your email at the store that means that you keep coming back and buying from them so they're going to give you better coupons so that I thought was really cool. The next thing is to use coupons. Again, this may seem obvious, but there are a few different kinds of coupons that you can use in a couple different ways that you can use them. So I'm going to go over a few of the ones that I have right now so you guys can get a good look at what the coupons would look like. So here are the two coupons that are very, um, current right now these came in the mail um my fiance's mom also got them in the mail so she gave me two more which is a bonus for me so these are the ones that'll come in the mail you'll find that these ones are like a thick cardboard so you know that these ones are like the heavy duty coupons and usually you'll get like this one says to save 20 percent off your entire purchase and then you also get a free fun size or travel size item. No purchase necessary. Um, so if you didn't even want to buy anything, you can always use your free travel size item and just go in there and get a free travel size item and not have to buy anything else. And then also, when you actually buy things at the store, you will probably get a coupon in your bag. The cashier will put it in your bag with all of your goodies so usually you'll get one that's like um, $10 off of a $30 purchase or something like that or if they have another sale coming up they will give you like a 20% off coupon or something so that you can use it at the sale coming up this one is for a free signature collection item of your choice with any purchase of $10 or more up to a $13 value so this one is about their new summer scents. I don't know if they're out yet. I haven't been there since the semi-annual sale. So I'm not sure when these will be out. If they are, I am probably going to get some of those. And then another one that I got, or I get sometimes in my little shopping bag, is one for online shopping. These ones will say like 20% off your online order or something about free shipping. So this one is free shipping and orders over $25. So this is good if you are more of an online shopper. Remember to use this so you can get a good discount. Now with the ones that you get in the actual mail, 
usually they'll have like they'll be connected and then you can like rip them apart well when I went to the store recently I don't know if this is completely true or not because it has varied for me but the cashier not the manager that I was just talking about but this is a different time but she told me that when you get the ones in the mail that come together, so like if they're the same color or the same design or something, those are the ones that you can use together in the same transaction. Whereas if you got like one of these and say one of these, she said basically you can't use these two together, but you can use together the ones that came together. I don't know because I swear I remember in the past having used like different kinds of coupons together in the same transaction so I don't know if it's allowed or maybe you know some of the cashiers just aren't following the rules I don't know so you guys can kind of try that out for yourselves let me know if you guys know how that works or anything if some of you work at Bath and Body Works um, but yeah so just be careful with the kind of coupons you use and make sure to ask the workers if you're unsure how they work so a lot of the rest of my tips are basically just how to be smarter with your money when you go in there so you don't accidentally blow $100. The next thing is to buy retired scents or scents that are like older or being discontinued, that kind of thing. Usually on the website they will still have all of their retired scents so maybe if you'd like to scent that was from a few years ago and they don't have it in the store anymore go online and buy the retired sets because those ones are gonna be discounted or like half off or something so you can get cheaper scents if they are more old more old older gosh get it together next is to take advantage of the sale for signature collection items this is a sale that is kind of continuous and ongoing this sale is buy two get one free or buy three get two free this applies to like body washes body lotions body creams oh yeah the body sprays that that's included too so any signature collection items so usually that means like the items that are around all year long those are the items that you can use with the signature collection sale so you can get two of them if you buy two of them you get another one free and you buy three you get another two free and then you can like mix and match them like they don't all have to be lotions they don't all have to be sprays take advantage of that because if you are someone who visits the store often anyway you might as well just do the deal where you get one or two of them for free that way maybe you won't even have to come back in so you'll just get all your goodies at one time and you will get one of them or two of them for free another thing that you can do is to try out soaps and body washes at the sink at my store there is a sink I don't know if there is at yours but what I like to do is if I can't decide between a couple hand soaps or maybe it's a couple body washes I will take it to the sink and I will try it out because sometimes when you're just kind of smelling everything it doesn't always smell the same as when you actually use it like for example I might buy a soap that I think I'll really like and then I'll take it home and use it and I won't be too impressed by it so what I like to do is actually try it out in the sink and that will help you make a very informed decision about which soap you might want to get. This other tip I spoke of in another video, I can't remember which video it was. It was a recent video, but um, basically the tip is to use your free fun size coupon that I just spoke of. Use it to try out new scents. So usually by the checkout line they will have like shelves or displays of all like their mini items so use that free travel size coupon to try out new scents that maybe you aren't sure you're gonna like use it when you get the free item so then you don't accidentally like drop fifteen dollars on something that you don't actually like or use so what I like to do is use these and get them in the little mini body lotion or body wash and then if I really really like the scent then I will buy the full size The next tip is to go to the semi annual sale or the annual sale and stock up this is when things are going to be super discounted and this is when you're gonna want to buy the most amount of things if you even want to buy anything 
I also suggest buying a ton of stuff at the sales because you may think, oh, this is way too much for me or I'm not going to need all this stuff. Well, that's the time where you can stock up and then you can use your leftover stuff or the stuff that you don't like as much. You can use that as gifts for other people like Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or Mother's Day. Use those extra items that you got at the sale for gifts in the future. Next is three for $12, what is it, travel size items. So this is a deal that is usually going on. You get three travel size items for $12. So like I was saying, the shelves by the checkout line, if you get three of those, it'll only cost you $12, where like a full size of one body wash or body lotion is like $12.50. So if you are someone who never uses up an entire full size body lotion, I mean, that's how I am. I have never finished an entire full size body lotion, so it seems like kind of a waste of money. So I would suggest using that deal to get three different scents of the mini size. That way you can have fun with a few different scents that you like, but not feel like you're wasting any money on product you don't use. Another thing, this may just be a personal thing, but don't buy the hand sanitizers, like the little itty bitty hand, si hand sanitizers. I always pass by the hand sanitizers and I'm just like, these are so adorable, I have to get them. But in reality, I still have hand sanitizers from like two years ago, like, and I have never finished any of them. That's just me because I don't tend to use a lot of hand sanitizer. So if you do use a lot of hand sanitizer, ignore this. But if you are someone who always passes the hand sanitizer and thinks how cute and little they are, and you're just like, oh, I gotta have them, I gotta have them, and you never use them, just don't buy them. Think about the hand sanitizers that you still have sitting around at home. Don't waste your money on getting any more. And I also would recommend don't blow your money on all those cute cases. If you have money to spend, like obviously, get whatever you want, girl. But if you are trying to save money, don't bother with those like little cases they have to put on your purse and stuff. Just save your money and pass on the hand sanitizer. The last tip is to never buy at full price unless you have been waiting for a certain item or waiting to buy something and you just have to have it. Otherwise, don't buy at full price. Odds are there's going to be a sale coming up or you'll get a coupon. Just don't waste your money on like a $22 candle when you know from prior experience that it's likely going to be $11 the next week or something, you know? Just be smart about that. Don't waste your money on the full price item, especially with Bath & Body Works who has sales all the time. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. <clears throat> I hope you found it helpful. If you guys use some of these tips or found any of them helpful, let me know in a comment down below how they worked out for you. Also, if you have any other tips to share, leave a comment so that anyone else who sees this video can also see your comments and we can all help each other out to save money. Like this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified every time I upload something new. I put up new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, so be on the lookout for those. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye guys! Alright, so today's video is something that I have really wanted to do. I have this... No, oh, I need to... Re-evaluate. Okay, so if you see me looking down a lot, I'm looking at my list here. Um, so... Okay. These come in the...